is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and thanks way in city skylines on super fast mode watch these planes man if i was on this plane i'd lose it hold on let's see if it's gonna do something cool so it comes out is it just gonna go there it goes loops around does a couple of loops let's come over here where are you going man you're just gonna fly right back over there and land aren't you wait is he heading out of the city a lot of times I've been watching them and they just do these loops and then they just go right back and land. It's like they don't go anywhere. Of course, now the people are watching. You're not going to show it, are you? You're just going to fly off camera. Anyway, all right. So some of the things are going pretty good here in Subtopian Vilberg Town. We are seeing a little bit of complaining, as we always do. We always see a little bit of complaining. So, um... I'm seeing over here some trash complaining and people are sick complaining and this is really really quite strange actually because people are sick complaining doesn't really make any sense and as you can see and trash complaining doesn't really make any sense if we actually look inside of here it says this bunch of hearses running over here that's Zoolander land we gotta try to select this guy Ambulance is in use, 0 of 6. Patient, 0 of 100. So I'm wondering if there's, like, something about the way that I've placed this that's making it so that people can't get to it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But we're just going to leave it as it is for now. But, yeah, stuff and things are going pretty good. We got Mineral Park over here, Zoolander Land. Um, and, uh, but, yeah, what I was seeing is in these industrial areas, we had this issue licked. We really did have it licked. Um, the not enough workers issue, uh, but it seems that we're having a bit of not enough workers now And I think that may have been because I created this industrial park here There's not enough demand for industrial so the jobs are spread out a little bit thin I think that might be what's going on. Maybe maybe sort of we are seeing um, a couple of things going on We're getting some increased population without really building a whole heck of a lot more residential so people are kind of just squeezing in and um, our taxes are going really good, but somebody mentioned a couple times at, about it in the comments, and I keep forgetting to do this. We are making, look at this power issue. We're creating all this extra power that we don't need, and we can save ourselves a little bit of money by lowering our budget. Now, what happens if we lower it down to 50%? Let's take a look here and see what goes on. Oh, that's not good. No. Oh, no, no, pause. Oh, big emergency. Oh, bad. Okay, so that's really bad. Let's maybe take it to 80%. See how that works. Perhaps 80% would be a better option. We're gonna have a big problem here for a second. Taxes are gonna plummet. All right, there we go. There we go. Everything's gonna be good. Everything will come back here in a second. But at 80%, we're just barely on the edge here. So let's go ahead and kick this guy up to 85%. Uh, percent and take a look at it really quickly. It's still, they still look like they're complaining. Current power output does not match the city's needs. No, it does, it's totally fine. So there you can see we're at 1300-ish megawatts, um, just above the uh, amount of consumption for our power system. And that's gonna save us a bunch of money. I think that that saved us, I can't remember what this was, 42 some hundred, it's a, it's a few hundred dollars a week. It's a couple hundred dollars a week. So not bad, not bad at all. So, other than that, I'm taking a look about, uh, at stuff and things, and I think we're doing pretty good. We have some more demand for commercial, so let's go ahead and zone some areas over here by the airport and see what we get going on over here. How's our power situation look over here? Okay, we still need some of this cabling. So we'll add a little bit more commercial over here and see how that works out. Uh, train situation, let me take a look. This is the big long track. Um, it, they're still backing up over here. They're still backing up. And I got somebody that's commented a couple of times telling me about policies to aid in this. They said that small business enthusiast or business big business benefactor would help with outside connections. So small business enthusiasts actually low density commercial buildings double their sales. And big business benefactor, same thing. High density commercial buildings double their sales. So yeah, um, there isn't a policy that helps with outside connections that I can find. Um, allow industry workers to be more effective by overlooking a few safety things. That's industrial space planning. Obviously high rise ban and heavy traffic ban. We know what those things do. Taxation is dealing all with taxes and services. Yeah, so there's really not something I can see as far as a policy that's going to alleviate this traffic jam. This is absolutely, and like I said, I've read about it on the on the uh, forums. It's a bug in the game. So um, the only thing that we could try to do is to alleviate the traffic is to get people to get them to kind of choose a different direction. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So anywho, so let's take a look at some stuff and things over here. That train station what is not doing even near as many people as it was. But yeah, these things are going good. Um, I'm kind of at a loss as to what to do next. I was thinking about possibly adding in some other stuff and things. So um, basically a new area of town is what I was thinking about doing and planning it out a little bit differently. So we still have a couple of buildings to place, I think. We still have the stadium to place and we have the seaside scraper. So this thing does cause a little bit of pollution, I guess. What is it? Some noise pollution, but the people can can they can uh, be quiet. So um, I'm thinking over here would be a kind of a cool spot for it. Can we fit it out anywhere right there? That's kind of a neat place, man. I like that. Let's squirt that down right there and take a look at what she looks like. Uh, that's kind of cool. Like it's like a lighthouse type deal, right? Right next to this other big building. What happened to our zoning in this area right here? All right, so we screwed that up uh, a little bit. <laughs> Nothing major. Let's pop that off like so. We'll leave those other two zone the way they are. Now, if we come over here and we tab down in, we're inside. There we go. There it is. It's like the ribbon. Why are you parked? Sweet parking job. You guys are experts at parking. I mean, how could you have parked any better? I don't think it's possible. All right, there's more parking issues. That almost looks like the ribbon that we did in the in the la last season of uh, Hermitcraft Vanilla was, was. Yeah, that's a pretty cool building, man. Oh my God! Oh, accident! What is happening? What is going on? Oh, I hope is that a passenger boat? Are you okay? There's no boat police. Go drunk. You're home, man. Holy crap! Look at this guy too. These guys. You guys are the worst at parking boats. There needs to be a training or something. We need to have a seminar, some sort of how to boat talk. Let me see this guy come in here. <laughs> These guys are in a hurry. Hold on, hold on a second. We can't do it from here. If we slow down the time, maybe if we slow down time and then we watch them, does it seem more appropriate if it's at a slower speed? It probably was just that it was super fast. That seems inappropriate. I don't know. Still seems a little dangerous to me. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at planning out a new city spot. I'm thinking about doing it up in this area here. We've got a big open area. And I've been into the city skyline workshop where you can find all sorts of amazing stuff and things. As you can see, we found some of these intersections. Some of these I still want to use, but I always get sloped too steep on all of these guys. All these custom intersections say slope too steep. So... This guy, check this thing out, man. If we just get in a little bit close to it, I just want to build it just to see what it looks like. How much does it cost to build? 120 something grand. Look, at it's like bridges and I don't even know what it is for. It's like the silliest thing I've ever seen. It, look, it doesn't look like it's like actually an intersection because as you can see, it, it, it's got a highway that goes in and out but I don't know what else you would do with it. It says that it's supposed to be, it's called, what is it called? Stadium. Oh, wait, it's just called Circle Request. <laughs> I think when I looked it up, it was called Stadium Circle. Pretty crazy stuff. This is the um, Wein Heine Schneisel. Wein Mong Biet, which I, I've been told it means like my residential zone or something like that. So we got that's the industrial grid we used. This is the one I was looking for. So this is like an interesting circle design that I thought we might try. Um, what else? And I also downloaded just a couple little circles to help with doing some highway stuff and things. That looks kind of neat. Ooh, ooh, crazy, man. And then we got this guy still and this guy. Now, this guy would be really cool to use, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's too big for this area. It is a really big intersection. Um, if we do use it, there is... Yeah, anyway, I don't know. It just seems a little bit big to me. So we do need to put um, another interchange in right here. I was uh, taking a look at the ones that I've downloaded. Yeah, that ain't going to work. And almost none of the downloady ones would place in this area. Let me go ahead and come back a little bit so we can grab them. Where was the one I was saying that looked really cool? This guy right here. Um, we get that slope too steep, slope too steep. Now... It will still be red if there's a place we can put it. Distance too short. Slope too steep. Slope too steep. 
But like over here we can place it. It should just automatically allow you to place any of the these structures anywhere. So I, anyway, the point being is I guess we're going to have to use the regular guy. The regular boring guy right here. Because that will work for us. And then that way we can hook up to the highway s system over here. We should probably put two in. One over in this area too wouldn't probably be a bad idea. Or maybe we could just do... Yeah, yeah, we probably need one on each area. So anyway, my plan is to start laying out the new area right here and then put in a couple of these uh, cloverleaf intersections and then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back and I got a couple of the interchanges in and I was starting to place this and I thought I'd bring you guys back so you can see how what's gonna happen here. Let's see if we can actually get this to place. It will place perfectly. So we've got this whole area right here. Now we're gonna have to run <laughs> I'm not really sure how this highway system is going to work, man. I guess we would run maybe the highway straight through the center? I don't know. I am thinking that we're going to go ahead and from this area here run a highway. Let me turn this off. Run a highway right over here. Extend this connection all the way up and around. And then have that curve right over into here and connect up right there. But inside of here, I'm just kind of interested in how we would place our highway in and out um, and it isn't that big of an area I mean there's a lot of stuff here but it isn't that much stuff but you do want the traffic to be able to kind of get in and out pretty easily now one of the things we have we uh, where, where are you man we've got these prefab circles so I don't know we could do there's one we have this raised highway circle and eh, that's not gonna fit anywhere You know what would be great is if there's just a tool that you could say raised highway circle and then you could drag it. Oh, whoops <laughs> We could do what is that? It's just a random circle now. Okay, let's just go ahead and get that money back And we're back uh, but yeah like a click and drag type circle deal that you could just extend and make bigger and it would be better um, straight away with this, I think that what I want to do is upgrade all the roads to two-way, like so. So we'd have to go around like this and make these a lot bigger. Now, is that going to cramp me on space? I think actually that might be more e space efficient. Because it looks like it takes these two zones and butts them up against each other. Like right here, you can see there's a gap in there. And then if we upgrade those, that works out pretty good. We can just paint them like so and make them a lot bigger and it's going to be a lot better. So what I want to try to do in this little area here is make kind of like a little, a little micro community where we try to do like a good ratio of industrial to residential to commercial in one little area spot place thing. So we're gonna have to have some services up inside of here, and I, actually, one of the things, that, one of the other things I want to take a look at really quickly, we have oil industry over here, but that is gonna create a lot of pollution. So, and right now, by the way, we've still got about 1,200 ore. But if you remember correctly, I said that we've got a mod installed now that makes it so this oil does not run out. But it's odd because we've had a decrease in <laughs> decrease in the amount of um, oil produ oil produced over here. And uh, I think that's just because of the worker issue. That's probably what's going on. And it looks like a couple of these places actually moved out. Um, we may try to stimulate business over here by adding in some residential right down in there. Might not be a bad idea. Um, all right. So over here, what we want to do is we want to get people into the town here. I'm just having to think about what we want to do. I'm almost thinking like a roundabout. I don't know. I don't think a roundabout's really going to do it. But we should probably put roads. I mean, I could put a highway straight through, but then we're going to have that noise pollution. You can check out uh, like down inside of here. I mean, we get a huge amount of noise pollution. Well, the highway itself over here doesn't really cause that much because there's not that many people on it. So... Anyway, all right, so this is cool. I'm liking what's going on here, but we got to work on a little bit more. Uh, when I think, I'm thinking I'm going to do some more work with the roads, and when I'm ready to zone, I'll BRBs, peeps. And we're back, and this is what we've got. Now, it's a little bit wacky, I'm going to admit. I'm just going to, I'm just trying it. I think it's a neato experiment. 
So we've got some on and off ramps over here. So, th so and then with some circles, some raised highway circles. So like you can come onto the circle here, you can get off and come over here. These guys can get on here. They can get back onto the highway. Similarly over here and here and over here and here. And uh, just one loop that comes around like this. This is a, These are always a little bit tricky to make. You know, I wish they had as well. Speaking of things I wish they had in this game that would like the circle tool. I wish they had a smoothing road tool so you could like smooth these edges out a little bit better. Um, a lot of times it's really hard to fit in the supports. But anywho, so for now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to say that we're going to need a redesign on some roads in this. Um, probably pretty quickly. But we're going to check this out. So one of the other things that I want to do is go ahead and take our one ways. And like this is a one way out. I want to make that a one way in, one way out, one way in. So then out, in, out, in. Um, and then for these as well, I think, oh wait, did I do two ways? I guess, why don't we just make it all two way and see how, how this reacts. I feel like making these one ways has been a huge problem for me with services. So I want to just try to make some two ways and then we're just going to have to deal with what happens with the traffic as it happens. So a as things change, we'll make some changes as well and kind of see how the little area reacts. Now, we don't have a huge amount of stuff and things here. Like if you take a look at our West Peace Place or something like that, this is, a, this is a lot more compact, I feel like. So this is a little less compact, so the road system might be a little bit better. Um, we might not have as much traffic in here. So we have some oil industry back over in this area. Uh, but the first thing I think we need to take a look at is services. So we're going to need to put... There's a cemetery. What if we did like over here? So we're going to need to put some services in and make sure, like for instance, this would be a great spot for the incinerator because this is where we're going to put all of our industrial. So we can stick that, squirt that over inside of there. But as far as other things, you probably want to get them near, closer in towards the center. But if you take a look at this little circle here, look at this one clinic. Now, the clinic has a range, which is great right here, but it also has a capacity. So you have to be careful with both of those things. But if we can fit any of them, some of them right in the center. Oh, like right there. Great spot for the hospital. What about for the crematorium? That's not bad right there. And then fire department, can we do everything with one? That's really good. I don't think, again, we're not gonna be able to fit it in the center, but we can fit it around the edge there. So we can go one of those guys, squirt a police department inside of here, maybe like right there in the center. Uh, some schools, we're gonna put elementary education here. Uh, let's see here. We need a big spot for that. Oh, that elementary school is gonna do a really limited amount. So why don't we do this as industrial and we'll do some more over here as we can put it in the center or even closer in here. Yeah, we'll do like our elementary school right there. And then this way, some not everybody will be educated. So do elementary and high school and we'll put our high school maybe over here-ish. Yeah, I don't want them too smart. So maybe back here, this will be where the most populated, the, the smartest people will be. So as far as bus terminal, we should probably do that. I can do that off camera later on. Uh, we're gonna need some parks. But the other thing about this area, this is gonna be tricky, is that when we zone it, all these onesie and twosies, this, this prefab is really not really done the best. Um, I think there are prefabs with curves that are more efficient at how the um, zone placement blah square thingy doodlers are are made. So we have a lot of these little areas where there's just one wides, which we want to make sure we don't zone. So let's go ahead and start zoning. Let's just kind of start seeing what's going on here. So if we pick, wait, this tool, we can kind of see these areas like so. and then start zoning all the different spots. So like over here, we get some industrial going on like that. And then down in here, we'd have to select a different tool and like take that out because we don't want that little guy in there. Um, over in this area, we know we're gonna have a, a significant amount of residential. I'm just gonna go with the high density res for everything over here. So we would do like over in this area, 
And then we got to take some of these guys out as well. So anyway, so that's kind of the plan. That's the idea. And then we're going to have little commercial zone buffers in different spots. So, um, all right. So I'm going to zone it. And then we're going to run water and power. And then we're going to turn it on and see what happens, peeps. And we're back. And I got it all zoned up. This is what I decided to do. Now, I think that we're going to go with all... I don't know, man. It's hard to say. We've got all this oil deposit all in this area here. I could make just a small portion of this into mineral, um, or into oil, pardon me. It probably wouldn't be the worst idea, but I do want to make sure I've got enough in industry to supply these guys with, uh, with goods. So we do have a little bit of commercial in here. I got kind of like, I don't know, just kind of trying to try out the ratio here. I put some offices in, I put some high density commercial in there. We've got all of our residential out in here. So you can go ahead and speed it up here. It, straight away, we're getting, we're having this mad drop in taxes suddenly. I don't know if we lost some services somewhere or something. I don't know what's going on. How's our power consumption? Still doing pretty good. Not too bad there. We definitely lost a huge amount of money from something. I was making like five or six grand per week. Here it comes back. Sometimes, I mean, it might have just been like a momentary drop in something that I wasn't paying attention to or I lost power and paused it and forgot about it. Um, so anywho, so now this is in development. You can see straight away the commercial zones are getting developed. We have a little bit of residential coming in. Tiny, tiny bit of industrial, but we've got really low industrial demand right now. You know, one of the things that we take a look at our taxes for them too, they're down to 11%. Like, I don't think I really want to blow it any lower than that. I like the lowness at where it is. So, um, yeah, I think we're just going to kind of let it go slow and see what's going on. We got 92,000 people. We got a couple hundred people a week. There we go. And now we're back up to about four grand here. Just going to kind of watch this, watch the traffic, that sort of stuff. I could put another cargo terminal over by this industrial zone and hook up to here, but I just don't want that any more traffic going out on that line. The only other way I could do that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to have to cut any of these lines off from each other. I just feel like that would be that wouldn't really work out for us very well. So yeah. So for now, I think what I'm gonna do is just let this bad boy grow up and see what it grows up into. Beautiful little circle thing. And we're back, and I'm just getting some more treatment plants uh, hooked up and some more, I added a couple more water pumping stations because we're really running kind of on the edge here. Let's unpause and see. There we go. Sewage treatment, get online. Come online, home, show all the peeps how much you can treat the poops. All right, perfect. So it's amazing. So over here in, I don't know, uh, what are we going to call this place, man? Let's make it a zone, first of all. Let's make you a circular type zone. Oh, I think I just named the place. It's not a circuit. Well, whatever. Evergreen Square. That's perfect. <laughs> let's call it. No, let's call it Circle Square. Circle Square. All right. So this is over in Circle Square, and things are going great over here. I mean, like it is its little own micro community, microcosmos, micro spot. Um, as far as what's been going on here, we are seeing some offices starting to pop up here. We've got some industry. I rezoned some of these offices as commercial. We have this huge demand for commercial. And over in this area, we fit, I think, I don't know, like 15,000 people. If you check down here, we've broke 100,000, man. Subtopia in Vilberg Town is now over. Hey, look, another spirit road. So there's another spiritual road right here. I don't know. <laughs> Where does that even come from? What is that? Like the spirit of the dead people that want that live here want to go to work in this office or something? I don't know, even know what's going on with that. So anyway, Circle Square is going good. Subtopia in Vilberg Town is going great. Everything's going really, really great right now. Um, just real quick to give you guys a traffic update. We are seeing a large amount of traffic, like there's red roads all over this place, but everything is moving. That's the thing, is that we don't have any real backups. A um, little bit of backup, a little bit of backup, but everything is kind of, you know, flowing. There's a flow, um, and it's good. It's, like, working out great. Oh, also, wow, there's quite an issue right there. Oh, no, it's not. It's just good flow. The flow is so good. 
So also, I added in a metro route over here. It's really perfect. Very good circle thing right there. And then I, well, I ran it down here, and I ran it down and around, and just kind of a few spots, and then had to come back up. And um, I saw an additional probably about 500 people start taking the public transport there. So oh, that's really good. Um, we have a bus route in here now, too. Can you guys see? Oh, there it is. There's the blue bus route. And I did like a big kind of inward working circle. So it goes around like this and then it comes, well, I can't really. There you can see it goes in a layer and then it goes around and then it goes the other direction. And so, yeah, they got a, the bus terminal and I didn't see a huge amount of bus uh, increase, but you know, it's there. It's there in case they want to use it. I was taking a look at some of the other transport statistics. Um, and I found it to be really, where are you transport statistics? I found it to be really odd that almost no one uses the airport. I started to try to take a look online for like what the normal amount of airport traffic would be. Um, and I didn't really find anything. And then I was like thinking, I'm like, wait a second, maybe I didn't do something right. I don't think you can make like the way you can with, I mean, obviously with uh, trains and buses and sub subways, you can make stops. You can't do that with the with the um, bo boats or the planes. So that's not a thing we really need to worry about. But um, but yeah, everything seems to be going really good. Since we've had added more industry, I'm seeing a huge demand for more commercial. Now, I'm a little bit wary to place this in just any place. I know it causes a lot of traffic. So I think that we're gonna continue to kind of expand and work on more uh, industrial or more commercial, pardon me, zones. Um, I did add a bunch more over here by the airport, hoping to maybe, you know, stimulate airport business a little bit. Maybe get some more people over here. I'm not really seeing that that's the case, but whatevs, it's all good. Um, it, but as you can see, when you add this stuff in, I don't think we have any metro rails over here, and I don't have any bus uh, terminals going over here. So we're going to see some increased traffic. It's probably time to revisit some new bus lines. Um, and possibly add some additional metro um, over in and around the airport. Um, we never even uh, linked up Zoolander land or Mineral Park to the system, but I don't really think they need it. And there's like no traffic out here. This little place right here is working out like super good. Like this is really kind of a neat thing. Now I'm thinking about maybe the next thing we do is developing some really rad residential area on top of this mountain. We got to think of a name for the mountain too. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today, I think, guys. We made Circle Square. It's totally rad. And I had fun doing it. I hope that you guys did, too. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.